I feel quite. Um, I don't. I don't think motherly is not quite the right <laughs> word, but it's quite amazing to see you all, and I. I do feel well. Actually, I feel very proud. And I, looking around the room, I actually think mathematics education is in pretty good hands, just quietly, <laughs> with all these wonderful young people going out. And, and uh, welcome back to those of you who, of course, are already teachers. I'm so pleased you came. You're on your holidays. You've given up your holiday to come in and to spend some time talking about mathematics education meeting the current students. I'm just so delighted you did that. And I have had quite a few emails from people who have said they'd love to be here but they can't. They've booked holidays overseas, etc. So thank you so much. First of all, I'd also like to introduce um, a couple of other guests that Robin has mentioned, Associate Professor Leon Palladian from the Science Faculty. We also have um, Professor Neville Weber is here, Neville who's the head of the School of Maths and Statistics from the Science Faculty. Um, Associate Professor David Eastdown may not be here at the moment. Ah, oh, he is up the back, David. Director of First Year Mathematics in the Faculty of Science. Welcome and thanks for coming over. Um, David Price is over here. David is one of the tutors in First Year Mathematics at the moment. Um, and is um, also an ex-secondary teacher and is bringing wonderful support for our first year students as well. Professor John Mack will be joining us later in the day to, for this afternoon. Oh, John's here too! <laughs> My goodness, I couldn't see you up there. John, welcome. John Mack is um, a very famous mathematician <laughs> from this university. Uh, who is also Head of Academic Board and uh, he's going to present some of uh, his research after lunch in an issues session. So, welcome to all of you. Also Stuart Palmer who's down the front. Stuart, uh, some of you would know, Stuart's been working here with me for the last three or four years I think in the pre-service program. So welcome Stuart. Thank you. And thanks for your contribution. And we have um, well, Robin, welcome to Marilyn. But um, I just would like to say, who better to give <laughs> who better to give the opening keynote than the lead author of our textbook? So <laughs> I am delighted. And uh, I hope you've all brought your copy to have an autograph. <laughs> okay, now. Let's just turn to our alumni for a moment, if I may. A little indulgence. Some of you have actually travelled quite a long way to be here. Who are the teachers in the audience from country New South Wales? I'm not... Ah. Where, where from? Oh, Maxville. From Maxville. From? Kangaroo Valley. Kangaroo Valley. From? Parks oh, High School. Wow. So these people not only have given up their holidays, but they've also travelled actually a fair way to be with us. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Um, just to give you an idea of the years that people graduated or when they were here, who have we got in the audience who was here when I first came in 2003? Who was a student with me in 2003? <laughs> Come on. Hands up. Hands up. So these are the golden oldies. <laughs> and of course 2004, who worked with me in 2004? We've got a few, some, some of the same are still here, but a few more. 2005, some up the back, 2005. 2006, who was here 2006? A few. 2007. Ah, that was a good year. We've got lots of, lots of representatives from 2007. Well done, guys. Uh, 2008. Quite a few. 2009. Ah, not so much recently. 2010. 2011. And now we're starting to get to people who are actually still here, aren't we? <laughs> 2012 and 13, etc. So I actually um, 
went back through my archives and... Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I, didn't, I didn't have many photographs, unfortunately. I have to uh, write that wrong. Uh, this is the same group. I hate looking at these photographs. I always realise how much you've aged. <laughs> In my mind, I don't age. <laughs> And of course, some of you I actually do catch up with regularly at Mansfield conferences. So some of you I have seen quite a few times over the years. Others of you I haven't seen since you've left. Um, but I, I do enjoy seeing people at the conferences. But of course, <laughs> you're also today going to meet the new crop of teachers. So those of you who have travelled, who are teachers, I'm hoping today you're going to be <clears throat> pardon me, really impressed with the current crop of teachers that we actually have here and quite a few of you are in the audience. Um, I'm actually looking forward to your reactions as some of them actually present in the MTeach session. Um, so, why an alumni conference? <laughs> Who came up with the idea? It's something that I had thought about over the years, but Norden, who's down the front, said to me when he graduated, you must have an alumni conference. And he's mentioned it several times since, and finally I've got my act together with support from other people, and we're actually, this is the first one. And wouldn't it be wonderful if this became an annual event? Um, and I know there are lots of other teachers out there who would have liked to have been here. What is really important today, in your bag, you've got a grey sheet of paper that is an evaluation. And I'm really keen on your feedback. Whether you're a pre-service teacher or a current teacher, I want some honest feedback on today. Because I would like to do this again, but I'd like you to tell me what worked for you, what didn't. For a start, we're overcrowded. Now that's a good thing that I've got so many people here and I did toy with moving this to another venue but actually wanted to keep it in the faculty for this first one. But we are overflowing. So changing the venue and going to either the law school or one of the other uh, larger lecture theatres is obviously something that I would have to consider. <coughs> the second one is obviously make sure the guests have internet access. So there's <laughs> two we can all write down. And I'm sure there's others that you'll think about on, during the day. Please give feedback. Those of you who are looking for teacher accreditation, I need those evaluation, <coughs> pardon me, those evaluation sheets at the end of the day as evidence that you've been here for the whole day and then we can get you accreditation with the New South Wales Institute of Teachers. Um, I'd like everybody to hand in the evaluation sheet though as you leave. Okay, to the program. You've got a copy of the program in your bag. Um, you can see that it's very packed and very full. So we've actually got a lot to do. Uh, I think we'll get through it. It might be um, a bit of a rush, but again, that might be something we rethink for next year. What I'd like to do now is hand over to Leon to just tell you a little bit about the project that actually helped to fund your food today. <laughs> so we've managed to keep this uh, at no cost for you to attend. No normally conferences cost a lot of money for hiring of res uh, facilities, for food, etc. Today we're not charging you anything, so it's pretty good free PD, I think. But Leon would like to just tell you a little bit about the project that's paying for that. Well, I'm sure that Kevin Rudd and Julie Gillard are, are glad that their tw $12 million is being spent on your food today, so <laughs> enjoy it. Um, <coughs> during the um, years of the Rudd-Gillard-Rudd government, they decided that um, there should be more investment in the, uh, the training and the ongoing professional development of mathematics and science teachers. So there was this inspiring mathematics and science teacher education um, project of ours, which was one of the successful projects. There are six around the country in enhancing the training of mathematics and science teachers program. And Marilyn is the leader of our project. And I'm not going to say very much, but just let you know that it's actually a collaboration between six different universities that are quite different in size and in the type of teacher education they do. 
So up in Queensland, we've got James Cook in the University of Queensland. In New South Wales, we have Newcastle, Wollongong, and here at Sydney. And we also have the University of Tasmania involved as well. So at each one of those universities, there are projects going on. We all get together and meet on a regular basis. And there'll be another event involving this project sometime in June. And there are basically three important strategies that we're looking at. And two of those strategies are key today, which are the first two. So recruitment and retention. We want to build a sense of community amongst the people in this room. So please use this opportunity to meet people who are here today that you wouldn't otherwise meet and try. And we will try to help you build ongoing relationships and connections using technology and various other events combined with face-to-face. -face. So we brought back our alumni and we're indulging in some professional development for them as well and allowing them to <coughs> renew, find out what's going on in the university, find out what the key issues are, what the latest research is and so on. And of course we're also going to be looking at the design of our courses in the universities and as you can notice those of you who studied here years ago would know that there was very little interaction between the Faculty of Science and the Faculty of Education. It was almost like there wasn't a single person that was talking between them. That's all going to change. So the little gems of interaction we hope will become the norm and that there will be a regular, ongoing and healthy dialogue between all the different parts of the university that are relevant to your current studies, to your training and to your lifelong professional development. So. As I said, I'm not going to speak very long because it's a huge um, program to get through, but that's where the money's coming from that's funding this activity. They're the people involved, and you'll find out a lot more about this project um, over the rest of today and over the next few years as well. So I guess I'll head back to Judy.